What's going on guys? It's your boy A21 coming at you with a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your green screen on your Elgato HD60 or how to use your chroma key on your Elgato HD60 or HD60S. Um, it is extremely simple so please stay tuned. You can have it set up in less than a couple of minutes. I will have timestamps if you want to skip ahead. Thank you. All right, guys, let's get into this video. So first of all, I'm going to just explain a couple things on what you actually need to set up your green screen, which are HD60. All right, guys, first things first, you need a green screen. So I use just a regular fleece blanket that I bought at a fabric store for $6. Um, you can also get one at Walmart. That's what my first one was. But at the time, they were out of the lime green. So I had to use this ugly puke green. So I put it on top of a mattress just to hold my blanket up. Then make sure that there's no creases or um, any kind of um, wrinkles. With the uh, using a sheet, it is a lot harder to get rid of the wrinkles. So I do recommend a fleece blanket. Second, you are going to need a light for the back so you don't cast a shadow from the light in front of the camera. I am using a regular Pixstar looking light, I guess. I clip it on top of my chair. So now that this isn't where it normally is, it's usually a lot lower, just so you can see it. I'm gonna have this project against the green screen, but as you can see, there's a giant circle, which you cannot really have in using a green screen. It needs to be extremely even of light. That's where my first green screen comes in. I go ahead and place it right over. It dims the light a lot, narrows it down, and gives it even um, a green pigment of a light. Now there's not no circle around anymore, and it works extremely perfect because if for some reason my light shows up in the background when I'm sitting down, this green will still be covered up by the green screen, so good looking. All right guys, the next thing you're gonna need is a light in front of you to light up yourself to kind of, I guess, make you stand out in front of the green screen. All right, now I move the camera angle so you can actually see my light that is projecting in front of me, my microphone, the green screen, and then the light that casts the light to the green screen. Now, of course, this is not normally the angle that the camera would be in. This is just to show you an example. All right, so I apologize if my mouth is not syncing with the audio. It is because I'm not recording with the Elgato anymore. I'm recording with OBS. For the reason that if I, you would not be able to see what I'm doing in the edit mode on the Elgato. So, next step. Normally, I would move the camera up. And this would be out of the vision, even my microphone. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to keep it like this and show you the cropping method that I use to just give me in a box of the green screen. Okay, let's start from a blank screen. Let's go ahead and press edit. And then... Now we have nothing here, so you find the little plus overlay, find your webcam and add it, and it's going to put it in the corner over here. Blow it up so you can work with something bigger, and now you can kind of see everything. And now when we're in edit mode, you're going to come over to this corner. I'm assuming your camera and everything's going to be already set up. Do not use follow my face. It will make that square that I'm going to show you how to do, but it keeps zooming out and just it's not worth it. For now, go to crop. It's going to turn green. Now we're going to go ahead and crop a box around myself. Um, normally, I wouldn't have to do it from the bottom, but th just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and crop myself from the bottom up. Normally, I would do it from the top down. But now I need to bring this side over. And see, this is all green, so that would be okay. But see those creases? It's going to mess up the effect. So I need to bring it in even more so there's no creases. So now I have a perfect box cropped around me. Edit out of the cropping mode, and next we're going to get to the green screen or chroma key. Remove background. Enable chroma key. And now we're going to go ahead and pick the color. You can pick the color that's directly behind you, which would be the brightest part or wherever your light is at, which mine would be here. Or all the way in the corner, which would be uh, like very dark. But we're going to kind of do in the middle-ish and uh, 
Usually that works about the best. Now we need to use the tolerance. If it's all the way down, you can still see the green. If it's all the way up, I disappear. So you kind of have to work around it and figure it out. So see, this works perfectly. You can still see me. I'm not disappearing and I don't have things in my hair. But you can see the sides is very messed up. So that means that the background light must be brighter in certain spots or darker in certain spots. So you got to kind of mess around with that. All right, so this comes into the cropping again. If you can't get your lighting set up, I'm gonna just crop that spot out again. And obviously when you fix your lighting, you can you can move it back again, you know, until you find out where, where it's actually messing up. See, I zoomed out, now I can see it's actually decreased, it's not the light. But just for now, I'm gonna just put my shoulders. And we're gonna mess with the tolerance a little bit more again. See if we can get a little bit better. To be honest, it's not going to be perfect unless you buy an expensive green screen with expensive lights. All my setup is less than $10. So this is pretty legit for less than $10. All right, guys, this is the end of my tutorial on how to set up your green screen on your Elgato HD60 or your chroma key on your Elgato HD60 or your HD60S, whichever one. It doesn't matter. They're both exactly the same layout. So I really hope this helped. If so, don't forget to subscribe like the video and check out my next one.